In football, we've got cheetahs, speedsters, off to the races type of players, right? But then it takes going to Canada to find somebody who emphasizes on being called Swerve Gotti. Touchdown Edmonton, second of the day for Moore. And they blow this thing wide open midway through the second. Now Urban Dictionary tells us the definition of swerve. A word meaning move, get out the way. And I think that's poignant in the way we're talking about Swerve Gotti. Edmonton fighting the end zone. First touchdown as a member of the Elks for Kyron Moore. And just when you think you've got Swerve Gotti boxed in on a jet sweep in the ground game, I promise you he'll put six on your dome in the passing game like a dice game at a juke joint in Alabama. Kyron Moore throws a touchdown to Stephen Dunbar and Edmonton goes on top by 10. So if you see him swerving, you best stay in your lane. Because at the end of the day, you're going to remember the name. And that name is Kyron Moore. Swerve Gotti. Coach Phil reacts. Let's get to it, y'all. Don't kick the dudes with dreads. What's good, everybody? This is Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts, and I am back with another video. So, we are on Edmonton Elks week when it comes to the 2023 season highlights. We did Gino. Shout out to Gino, man. We did Gino's prior to his, his appearance on Deep in the Game. So, we kind of got a little ahead of ourselves. But, today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's full of Edmonton Elks guys. As many as I can get from them. So, shout out to the Elks for posting them and being cool with me reacting to them really appreciate y'all um as y'all can see we are talking about the one the only number three of the edmonton else wide receiver kyron moore as you can see man kyron had a solid season he, I, I didn't realize how young kyron was there's a lot of guys in league that i did not know like we're all close in age but as you can see from the numbers he's ascending I'm hoping he can hit a thousand in 2024. You know, a nice little 1K just to just to put a little panache on it. You know what he's doing right now. But we're gonna take a look at Kyron Moore's highlights from the 2023 season. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit notification bell, all that jazz. As well as if you want to join the membership, click. You are more than welcome to. Also, we still have T-shirts. Got ten, about 10, 9, 10 left. For everybody, if you want to get your last, get the last ones, man, fill out that Google form below. And also, make sure you follow my guy Kyron Moore, aka Swerve Gotti, on Instagram. Show the brother some love. Without any further ado, y'all, let's get into the video. There we go. Gonna miss the tackle. At the 30 with 16 seconds on the clock. He even moved that far. They work from the Toronto third. There we go. Argos bringing this must be early in the season. I think this is the first game. Oh my god. Throw was a little shaky, but Alright. Third catch of the game for more. He had just two coming in. Where you at though? Oh. Oh my god. They can't tackle him until he crosses the 55. And you can see Deggy just feathering. He can get in space like no other. Second and five. All right, who's up for us? Edmonton 31. Cornelius got him. Gets it to Moore. He's got a first down. Looking for Moore. He stumbles. Mm, mm, mm. Shy of the 50 when he eventually goes out of bounds. I promise on that. I know. 200 times. Oh, get Scambleton. Little checklist. Oh, underhand. Okay. Something. 
Kyron's only like 5'10, a buck 65 and some change. Now, you know, some of it's not always accurate. But to be 5'10, 165, 175, I think it said. Right, right, right. Here we go, here we go. He could just slither his way out of some shit. And no, not just because it's Scambleton. I, I, I genuinely believe Duke can slither his way through a crack in a wall. I, I really believe that. The fact that it's a, it, two, three guys over there, and you, neither one of y'all can tackle him, that's pretty good. He's got escape ability. Right, right. Sell it right there. But look at the route. And in a way, kind of shield him, shielded the defender from being able to step in in the lane and get the, get a pick. That that's good body position right there. Oh, oh, day. Credits. That was a good pass. A risky one. Oh, blitz coming up. Hey. Mmm. Jesus. I learn how bros be doing they do rags like that, like rolling it up. I've never been able to do that. I, I, I just, I can't. It's not in my, my black repertoire. Okay, scream. Turned something into nothing. Now, those are the type of receivers that, who take a little... A little grain of, of of like a piece of rice, and make a full course meal. That's some shit. I I you just gotta have a way with breaking down a defender and making it hard for him to tackle you. That's the crazy part. He's got it. He's he's got a gift there. Not everybody can do that, but I like that he's able to maneuver, get to where he need to get to, make a play, and he don't do too much. He does just enough. He's not, uh, uh, all that, all that, man. He just, he's loose. He's loose. Now, but he's under control. That's the catch. He's under control in his ability to get away. Young ones, y'all got to learn that. Y'all, that's, that, that's another thing that frustrates me about, like, football today. It's like, everybody got, they do the same. <gasps> like, you're not selling anything when you stop that. All that, like. You ain't got to do all that, man. Just get, get to your route. Get to the top of the route. What? I, I have never really seen on the pro level what I see young, these trainers, these 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 positions, skill guys, coaches that you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars to to teach you how to this and all that. All right here. That was a good throw, though. But he, uh, he did kind of. Ooh. But he, he threw. <laughs> great play, man. Great, great play. Mm, that's an athlete. Give him credit. That's a that's a Bama boy right there. Not playing at Alabama, but from Alabama. That's pretty. That's look right. Fly sweep. Excuse me. Fly sweep. This time he pulls up and throws it. Could have threw. Mm, uh, hey, he adjusted. Dunbar Jr. Nice man, Dunbar. Nice adjustment to the ball. All right, here we go. That BC defense is hard to attack, but let's see what the. Okay, right here. Oh, bottom of the screen. Bottom of your screen. All right. And again, that BC defense, that secondary is tough. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Swerve. He has to go down and get this one. He, lays he got under it too. Cupping it. Alright, this is my show. Hey, I was in the house for this. Get outside. That's a block. Uh, try to uh, ooh. <laughs> To be able to stop on a dive, he he on him and get in the end zone. And the brother can dance too. All right, here we go. Boom. But the block. Gino with the block. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. G. You know what I'm saying? Mr. G. 
but he followed his blocks. A lot of them would try to ooh, ooh, in and out. Like just he followed his blocks and Gino set it up for him. But swerve, that's a dead, that's a move right there, boy. Alright, we got 545 left. It's not bad. Mm -mm -mm. Watch right here. Got it out. Quick ball. Follow the damn block. And Superman that. I ain't gonna say the word, but he's Superman that. Right here. That was Gino. That wasn't no Manny. Shout out to Manny, though. They always tell you, just stay outside. All right, y'all. Let's get to our final thoughts. All right, y'all. Here's my final thoughts from Kyron Moore's 2023 season highlights. I think you guys need to do need to keep an eye out for Kyron going into next season. Just off the fact that man's got hands, can get any ball anywhere. Pause. And he just he can get it. He knows how to turn something into nothing. A lot of receive a lot of receivers. They have to, everything has to be either fundamentally sound, they gotta do the most, or they lack the ability to get away speed. You're not catching this man. You're not catching Kyron. You're not gonna be, you gotta, you gotta, you have to be the most fundamentally sound tackler. And, and it's hard because it's, it's, he's not the biggest, even though he's at 5'10. So you could have a linebacker on him. But then again, because linebackers usually are the better tacklers on a defense. But then, what are you going to do? Is, are you going to put a hybrid on him? Are you going to put a Reggie on him? Are you going to put a Beveret? Are you going to move? Are you going to move every piece to be able to stop a guy? Because I mean, you got Gino over there. You got Stephen Dunbar. You've got the G Stephen Dunbar Jr. You've got two other pieces. So are you going to take your best corner, your best DB, or your best hybrid guy to... I guess combat the speed and also his ability to take a little a screen it could be a tunnel screen it could just be a regular screen it could be a funnel it could be anything and make that what could be a two three yard play with, a, with another receiver and you can make that stretch that an 11 to 15 yard play or even potentially put you in the put them in the red zone so you just the only thing i would say about kyron there's only one thing i would say about kyron that i would love to see him get better at and that's um Ex expand your and I don't know if it's the offense but I, I would love to see more of Kyron uh, do more in the route tree I would love to see him do more than just be screens and, and little quick ones. even if 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 quick plays is what it is for him great that's his asset but I, if if he wants to be one of the best uh, receivers in the CFL hey you gotta expand it and he's in great company he's got Stephen Dunbar Jr. he's got obviously Gino he's got Manny he's got guys around him to bring him up so I, I want to see more from Kyron I, I love what I see big shout out to you my man thank you for letting me react to your highlights big shout out to the Edmonton Elks go Elks man appreciate y'all y'all go subscribe to them and obviously go follow Edmonton Elks go follow Kyron, go show love to everybody, man. That is a, a they are a top-notch organization and they got some great pieces. So we're gonna move on to the next video, y'all. We are going tomorrow. We are going to react to Mr. Trey Ford. The franchise. And I ain't talking Shane Douglas. I'm talking about the franchise, the future of the Edmonton Elks. So be on the lookout for that one. And uh yeah. Continue to be great, strive for greatness, all that jazz, and always remember. 20 years, Jody. Let's see where you be 20 years from now.